such an idiot. Oh my god, I know I've been sent into a group chat and someone's laughing at me. Oh my god. I've just finished my biggest painting I've ever done, my biggest portrait painting. Christ, it's a bit bumpy around here. Like, mind-blowing. Okay, so, I am refilming this video because the first one I was I filmed last week, I was just so nervous, I was acting like, because eh, I was acting like such a loony. But here we go, this is my first YouTube video. I thought I would do a sit down video and like explain who I am and what I'm doing etc. But I understand that's quite boring if you like don't really understand who someone is. So I'm gonna show you around my day in like a vlog style kind of content. Whilst I explain a bit about who I am, me starting a business on my own with no experience at 21, what is my bar show and actually what I want to do with this account. But first things on the agenda is I need to go and walk Axel because he's itching to go out so let's do that first. <laughs> is like really in my eyes but my name's Charlotte and I'm an artist from Birmingham so I specialize in portrait drawings and then I've slowly moved into paintings and I do the interior artwork as well so I'm um, artist in general but then like I mix between a few different mediums but it's not just me in the studio I've got my little studio assistant as well Axel he's currently a six month old golden retriever I had him from the week I started this I started it two years ago during lockdown but then like I've actually took it seriously the past like three months I work from home in my little studio which I'm currently revamping at the moment because I've grown out of it and I need to be make the space more productive to help me build Made by Charlotte. Now I'll explain what that is in a minute but first of all I'm going to finish this walk because look what he's doing. He is currently now filthy which wasn't the plan. Come on little man! Oh my god. Hopefully he can wash it off in <laughs> If I get him excited enough. I bet I'm gonna watch those last clips of me outside on a walk and be like, oh my God, the audio is like terrible. I thought I would sit down and do a bit of a backstory about how I got to this point of starting a business. So, I've always been creative. I've always been doing something, whether it's been drawing or a DIY or baking, I've always been doing something. Um, and that was all throughout school and at my GCSEs as well. I wasn't too bad like academically like I was fine but it didn't really didn't really do a lot for me so I did art and design and as a GCSE and really enjoyed it so leaving school with my GCSEs my dad is in like the construction industry so that has always been a part of my life I've enjoyed it and I wanted to become an architect until I found out how long it was in uni I think at the time when I looked at it it was like seven years and I've never been a big one for uni anyway, like I didn't, unless you're going to be a doctor or like an architect where you need things to be structurally sound, if you're going to be something like an artist, or, I don't really think you need it. That might be a bit controversial but that's what I'm putting out there, I don't really think you need it. I think as long as you hustle really hard and you become good at your craft, I think you can kind of get away with it and tiptoe along and build that way. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. So then realising I didn't really want to be an architect, but that was halfway through my college course. So again, I did art and design at college, enjoyed it, but I didn't really feel like I learned a lot there. I've learned more in the past two years of actually living a life than I did in, in creating than I did when I was at school. Then leaving college, trying to get a job in the art and design world is extremely difficult and there's not many out there. Plus being like 18 at the time when you leave, you have no experience, no one wants to take you on. So another hobby of mine is that I was into the gym, I was training from like the age of like 15, so that was quite an easy transition. So I got my, got my gym certificate things, worked at, a, worked at a gym for like two years, I was creating, I like started creating whilst I was working in the gym. Obviously lockdown hit, so we was all on furlough for a year and that was a really big blessing. I know as bad as COVID was, I think there was some pros to it as well, like taking a step back, reevaluating. So I started drawing and that quickly became a massive part 
are my life again as dramatic as that sounds. After Covid my job at the gym changed quite a bit and it wasn't enjoyable for me anymore and I left. I managed to get a job at an interior designers which was such a big deal to me like I was so proud of myself not having really like I know I had my art and design like a levels or whatever but that was quite a big step. I learned so much whilst I was at that job and like it was such a big part of me like making this step like I learned so much and then end of summer came around some things changed and I thought you know what if I'm not gonna do it well I don't really have many responsibilities you know like I live at home if I can't pay a bill it's not like I'm gonna be homeless I need to take this leap to me it felt really brave looking at it like looking at it now like I don't really have any responsibilities like I pay like you know it's not like it's not like I have a mortgage and kids where if I don't feed them they're gonna die like it's not that bad but to me it felt really dramatic but now I am trying my best to make Made by Charl a thing and build a career as full-time artist I'm figuring everything out like social media oh my god like that has been such a learning curve like putting yourself out there it is so uncomfortable Oh my god, I know I've been sent into a group chat and someone's laughing at me. But they're not going to build my career for me. They're not going to get me a, a, a full-time wage. So I've just had to like put that at the back of my mind and just keep chugging forwards. But the next step, it's now half nine. I need to go and collect some paintings that have been on show. And I need to go to the Renault project. I need to go and get my sander for what I'm doing today. And also I need to go and pick what colour blinds we're having in there. So I'm going to go do that. You can follow me and then we'll carry on. Oh, right then. It's dark in here. There's always a hair in my eye. So I've just been and collected the paintings. So it's nice to have a little chit chat about them. And now I'm going off to the Renault project. I've got whoop, the colour chart here for the blinds. I think it's going to be one of these neutral ones at the top, potentially the grey. So we're going to go and do that. And then we're going to go back and I'll tell you a bit about what I want to do with my Barshaw, what the mission behind it is, and crack on with the rest of my day. in and i was like just eating my lunch and as i was like biting into my sandwich i realized i didn't even pick up the sander so i went down there i picked the i picked what color blinds we wanted and then i got sidetracked by doing something else and i realized i didn't even pick it up like i'm such an idiot but oh well i'm gonna just have to like hand sand it now it's not a very big job it just would have made my life a lot easier and it would have been a lot quicker if i did that but it doesn't matter i'm gonna now crack on with that job for a little bit and then i'll sit down and tell you a little bit more okay then the last part to like conclude this little first video what do i do like three main sections and what is like the mission behind building made by shop so the first thing i do which i've done for a while as i said before but support trait drawings this is where i can use multiple multiple different photographs and then blend it all together on an app called procreate on my ipad and then once the client is happy with that send it off it gets approved i can start drawing so these are all pencil graphite drawings at the moment i've stick mainly to a4 and a3 that's worked quite well for me in the past so section two is the paintings so i do the portrait style of painting so the more detailed things and then i've also been moving into like custom artworks so i've just finished my biggest painting i've ever done my biggest portrait painting and it is of a formula one car it's a mclaren car and i did this as a surprise painting for my boyfriend's christmas present so i've just started uploading part one has gone up now and it did pretty well on my tiktok so i was really pleased about that because my tiktok has been quiet for quite a while but yeah it was nice to get some happy feedback for 
for a change. So I'm doing that and then I also do the custom artwork. So I've got a couple lined up at the moment and this is where a customer would send me pictures of their interior, um, explain a little bit about what they're looking for, if they have any pictures they've seen online, they're like, okay, I like how... I don't know the blue swashes through this painting and I like how there's a bit of gold on that one and we can kind of pull inspiration and the final section is the interior design so I did a project last year loved doing that one so I've got the renovation project I'm working on at the moment that is hopefully going to be done like in the next m month or so and then I've got a few lined up. I've got a bedroom to do, I've got a study to do. So there's a few things and it's um it's pretty exciting. So like those are the three main pillars and this is what this channel is gonna be about. The mission behind what I'm trying to create with Made by Charles is like build a community. So I follow a few different artists and seeing their pages of like just collaboration, inspiration, feedback. That's what I want to. Uh, that's what I want to build as well. The next one is like documenting my journey of starting an art business because it almost feels like a massive secret. When I see things online, I'm like, it's always, well, not always, but from what I've seen personally, a lot of it has been when they've started to get a feel for it now and they're like they're getting their year in and they're building their brand and everything's going well. It's this first like first couple of months of building a business is like mind blowing. Setting up your website um, and all of that, it's so daunting. I didn't even know where to start. So you can follow along the journey with me of doing that. It's been quite fun so far. And then also improving my craft and my personal growth and also how I can help others. I think that is going to conclude this video. So that is gonna be it for now i hope you enjoyed it i hope if anybody knows me and you're gonna take mick please don't <laughs> like please you wouldn't understand how uncomfortable it is to sit in front of a camera and a phone and just talk your life away and then shove them up online and just like hope for the best that no one says anything mean to you like i've had videos some of them have had like 200k 500k 10k like i've had like quite like big videos sometimes and but, and like that is amazing but a lot of them get like under 500 views under a thousand views and your ego takes a little bit of a hit sometimes <laughs> but you never know what's going to get you somewhere so like you're planting a seed every time you upload you're like planting that seed and i can see things now that are starting to happen that i did three months ago so you know be nice to me and if this video gets like 20 views then thank you 20 people that have watched you might feel a little bit better <laughs> and yeah follow my instagram and my tiktok they're all under made by Charles studio and then i also have my website as well which you can see a bit more of a professional way of showing all of my artwork and my contact forms on there so if you do want a commission or you, or you need to know anything type away and you i'll email you back and that is it for now so i will see you next sunday with my next video now I have to learn how to do one of those fancy end cards because that's what I see other people doing. So I'm going to learn that and I'll be back. <laughs>